Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new video on our new receiver that has been signed from the CFL, my home league. Can I call it that? That's exactly what I'm going to do it. It's the home league, the CFL. We just signed a new receiver to Buffalo. Who the hell's coming to Buffalo? Let me tell you, it's your boy Duke, Duke the Kill Williams. Coming to Buffalo, six foot three, two hundred twenty-five pounds. He's a go up and get it type of receiver. Now, y'all may not know who Duke Williams is. Y'all may not know about the CFL. Y'all been sleeping and not know anything about it. Let me tell you about my guy Duke Williams. First and foremost, before going to the CFL, before going to the NFL, he was a five-star recruit by rivals. God damn, I'm ashy, but it is what it is. Five-star recruit by rivals. That's number one. Number two, goes to a junior college, becomes the top junior recruit coming out of junior college guess what has an opportunity to go to louisiana state says eh. let me pause that i'm going to auburn goes to auburn first game kills it four receptions over 100 yards so we think it all right here we go but you know what life comes hard at you man and you make some bad decisions and this is exactly what happened to my guy duke williams duke went to the club you know what i mean clubbing it up you know what i mean some fellas want us a beef knock a few guys out and you know what I mean? There goes his opportunity at the collegiate level. So he had to eat some humble pie. Had to really eat some humble pie. So Duke never got drafted. Undrafted, signed by the Rams. Never made it. Made it right down to the last wire and got cut at the final cuts. So he's got a decision to make. He went up north to the CFL, played for the Eskies, the Edmonton Eskimos. And this is where my guy decided to, you know what? Let me take advantage of what i got he's still a young buck 25 years of age so guess what goes to the cfl makes a name for himself his last year just last year 1500 yards 11 touchdowns averaging 17 yards a catch leads the whole cfl in receiving so guess what edmonton did him right he says you know what you still have an opportunity to go to these nfl let me cut you let me release you and let you have an opportunity so the bills did him right by signing now, is this guy part of the process? This is what we need to find out. Is the kill Duke Williams part of the process? I think that's exactly what Buffalo needs. You went through the fire, you're out of it, you're trying to make a name for yourself, and you're still young, and you can still make things happen. Now, a guy like this coming to our team with 1,500 yards under his belt, 11 touchdowns, knows where the end zone is, and the CFL game is a far different game. His CFL game translates to the NFL. Here's the deal. Football is football. Receiver is receiver. You line up, you beat your man, and get to the end zone. And my man knows exactly how to do it. Now, he's not a speedster. He's not going to kill you down the field. But my guy has more in-game speed than actual 40 speed. So don't be looking for his 40 time. I'll tell you right now, that 4 7 2 ain't doing it. But when you get in the game and you run your routes, that's how he makes his game. He's a go up and get it type of receiver. When's the last time we had a big boy receiver? We tried it with Kelvin Benjamin, but we all know how that went down. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an opportunity to have this guy come in and really make big things happen. And I believe he's going to do it. He's got a second chance to make things happen. Think about it. Jeff Garcia. You guys remember Jeff Garcia? You know what I'm saying? Went to the CFL, stand out in the CFL, came to the NFL, had a really good career in the CFL. Doug Flutie, CFL, went to the NFL, had a great career. You know what I'm saying? There are some that haven't had great careers. Jesse Lumsden, y'all wouldn't know about that. CIS standout, had an opportunity in the NFL, never worked out. That boy was a beast when it came to the CIS. But none of y'all would know that, only Canadians would know about that. But it's all good. So, what can we expect from Duke Williams on this squad. Well, let me tell you, you're gonna have a big boy target. You want Josh Allen to be surrounded by targets. This man is going to give him that deep threat. And I'm not talking about beating someone deep. I'm talking about throw me the ball even when I'm not open because I'm gonna go get it. If you guys don't know about Duke Williams, go look on YouTube. You're already on YouTube. As soon as you're done watching this video, go peep my guy on YouTube and watch how he goes and gets the ball. That's the type of receiver we've been wanting in Buffalo for the longest time. 
And get this, he's 6'3", 225 pounds. So he's a big boy. He's not going to be out muscled. He might be that alpha receiver we've been waiting for. We didn't even have to use a draft pick. So I'm going to end it like this. Zay Jones, Robert Foster, Duke Williams, Isaiah McKenzie, Ray Ray McLeod. Those are the five receivers on this team that I'm looking forward to seeing. And guess what? We haven't even hit free agency. We haven't even hit the draft. So the future is bright in Buffalo. We got our quarterback. We signed a receiver. We just still got to hit that old line. So until then, we got work to do. But the first step is helping our quarterback in Josh Allen. So Duke Williams, the kill. Welcome to Buffalo. So ladies and gentlemen, how do you feel about this signing? If you guys like this signing, you know exactly what to do. Hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed to the Buffalo Fanatics, jump on this page and subscribe. And if you haven't followed me on social media, hit me up on RealRico underscore BF on Twitter. And until next time, it's your boy. Bitch, I wanna party like